So how did I know this relationship was addictive and toxic? <sighs> it's hard to say. I didn't really know right away. Um, and before I move on, I just want to be clear. Like when I use these words, it says nothing about this person. It says everything about the connection that we had and the reason we were brought into each other's lives to work through our shadows, to work through a lot of things in ourselves. Um, nonetheless, I have, you know, used the words like codependent, toxic, karmic, um, unhealthy to think about and often sometimes talk about this relationship. And addictive is also another word that's come up for me. So we fell in very fast. It was blindingly fast. And that sort of was a bit of a warning sign to me. Um, I had never really been loved this deeply by a man before. This person gave me so much love and so much attention and so much care and told me all these things that I uh, never thought anyone would ever say to me. Just the dream, like utmost dream that I could ever imagine. Um, a romantic connection, having intimate connection. And it all happened within a matter of days. Really just a matter of days we were already in love, saying I love you. And then the weeks went by and it was even, even more. Um, I feel tired just thinking about it right now. This was four years ago. And as things went on, I mean, the story just gets, it's so complicated, but I know I have to tell this story. Part of me is like, I just want to kind of brush under the rug and move on with my life, you know, because it hasn't been healthy and I just want to focus on good things. But the point is I want to use this to help people um, who are battling their own stuff. I want to, I need to. So yeah, I latched onto this relationship that felt like it gave me all the love I needed and I ignored the bad signs. I ignored the stonewalling. I ignored the, um, well, the polyamory, but that was a whole other story I could talk about later. I ignored the way that I felt sometimes. I ignored the way that I felt drained, that I felt confused. I felt like I was going crazy sometimes. Um, and it was all in pursuit of this love, this getting back to the loving connection where he would just hold me and it would feel like all was well again or we would just be having fun together or we would be in bed together and just being good. And I wanted, I was addicted to the feeling of his heart being open to me. That's what I was constantly chasing. Our relationship was a cycle of, um, it felt like open and close, like the heart opening and closing, opening and closing. And at the same time, he would always be telling me my heart is never closed to you. So I would feel crazy feeling like my body is perceiving and my intuition is perceiving you're closed off to me, but you're telling me you're not closed to me. So it must just be me not able to receive love. Um, it's just exhausting thinking about it, to be honest. And I was addicted to uh, reaching him. I was addicted to this openness. I was addic addicted to him being like fully loving with me. And it would go through these cycles of like him shutting down and becoming this, it felt like this other person and cold and um, yeah. So, so this addiction stemmed from, it stemmed from a desire to receive love. Okay. And that I mean, I know it meant that I didn't have that love within me. I know that. But I didn't see that at the time. I mean, I guess I kind of did, but it was sort of too hard to um, to do anything about it because I was so far in it. You know, when you're in it, you don't really see the rope out. You don't really see, like, the life raft, you know, or whatever, the, the exit. It's just like, okay, this is what it is and I'm just going to like do whatever I can to get to a point where I don't feel awful. You know, I just want to get to a place where I feel like I can survive. I was basically trying to live in survival mode for a lot of time. Um, so these were some of the qualities of the addictive relationship. And the other qualities was that it was super high when it was good. Like I'm telling you when things were good between us, you would never see another couple that looked more happy than we were. Like we were absolute soulmates. Um, at least on the outside, and we would just, you know, for four years, like, everything was always new. We would 
play and have so much fun and when we were in public like people would think people would constantly say to us even when we were like not officially dating but just hanging out which was a big pattern for us um people would say wow did you guys i thought you guys just started dating after they hear that we knew each other for four years and been in each other's lives say wow i thought you just started dating you guys are so cute and um so sweet together and yeah we are we were when things were good it was the best absolutely the best and i will always remember these times um but what i learned was that it's not normal to go through such lows as well in a relationship and yes it's not always easy there's always ups and downs but this was incredibly high and incredibly low and there wasn't a lot of stable middle ground and i was completely addicted to the highs you know when things were low i would just crave these highs and in some ways like i don't know it was addicting to be in this emotional intensity i was i felt addicted to just the intensity of um of the connection plane going over Loud. So that is a bit of my truth around that.